Welcome to today's um, episode. So as a follow-up to, to the last video, um, today we're talking about why are weddings so crazy expensive? Uh, we're going to look at some few things. Why weddings are expensive, so bear with me. First one is that um, there are some pointers here. I'll be, I'll be looking at them to, to explain better. First thing is that uh, weddings are expensive because one, it's a customized service. Yep, anything that is customized is expensive. From cars to products to, I mean, name it. I mean, the photographer is there for you only on the day or to your service. We're providing photo service, we're providing video service. We are at your beck and call. So everything that we're doing is for your day to be good. And we're doing our best for you. We're, we're giving you a good outcome and a good product. So customized services are expensive. That's one, it's, it's, it's key. Two, gadgets are crazy, crazy, crazy expensive crazy crazy expensive around last year those of you who saw my video where I was thanking Dennis for his helping providing one of these lights that I'm using we bought a light around I think it was 1200 if I do remember correctly today the same light is around 2100 yes same light same thing that we use I bought last year for 1002 it's now hitting 2000 plus so gadgets are expensive Cameras are going up. Yeah, cameras that cost as much as 30,000 Ghana cities. Mm. The black magics and the like, they're costing around 30,000 cities. These are cameras that you would probably love for somebody to use for your wedding. But then your affordability cannot balance their, their expenses when it comes to, to, to gadgets. So in order for them to be able to make up, because if somebody buys two of black magics, that's about 60,000 Ghana cities. And for your wedding video to, to be well done, at least, the photographer has to come with two video cameras, or the videographer has to come with two video cameras to take care of crowd reaction and you as well. So if I'm buying two cameras at 60,000 Ghana cities, and you expect me to charge, let's say, 1,000 cities, at what point in time will I be able to recover the expenses relating to just the two cameras? We've not even talked about photographic cameras as well. We've not talked about, you know, the cost with flash. We've not talked about the stunts. You might see these stunts to be just a, a you know, normal white silver-like looking stunt. I bought mine the first time for 850 Ghana cities. Today, the same stand, if I remember correctly, is around 1,800 now. So basically, these things are expensive. They are very expensive. Another thing is that photography. Wedding photography is a bit expensive because of experience. I mean, we all have different learning stages and levels. For a beginner photographer or a videographer, because he wants to penetrate into a certain market, he will start from a certain level. You know, where they will start from what we call the penetration pricing strategy. So they would want to penetrate the market. They want to be part of a certain circle. So they'll start small and grow. But for people who have done it over time, who have gained their name, you know, they, they would charge what they feel fits their, their level, their, their level of experience. So another thing that also affects pricing is has to do with the number of people who come to cover your wedding. If, if you, for example, contract a, a photographer who also does video to come and cover your wedding, sometimes they'll come with four people. Now, all these four people will have to be paid. So, assuming that on the day, you're paying everybody roughly 400 cities for their work, you know, if, if you have supporting shooters of about three, let's say you are the main guy, you are supporting shooters of three, if you're paying them at least 400 cities on the day, that's about 1,002. So, sometimes the numbers also would, would cause the price to, to bloat full well. If I'm supposed to drive to your end, there are times where clients do that to photographers. If photographers come to their weddings and they don't have cars, they leave you behind, you know. And you, the photographer, will not be struggling and asking family members whether 
there's a chance to, to, to join their vehicle. So if you have your own car, you have to fool well. You have to drive to the place. You have to do the rounds with them. So all those things, again, are factored. Editing time, it will surprise you to know that it will take you a minimum of 10 hours to finish a whole wedding. Yeah, 10 solid hours of, of editing time. Not to even talk about editing time for, for pictures. But for video, it will take you 10 solid hours sitting on your butt to, to edit an entire wedding video. So there are several components that go into pricing. But people only look at it like, and they'll tell you the usual thing, ah, foot to keke. <laughs> you know, it's like anything where they go like that, ah, picture keke, so now give me 5,000.